Professor Shaheen Mehta, Head of the Unit for Infection Prevention and Control at Tigerberg Hospital and Stellenbosch University, the Faculty of Health Sciences. We were commissioned by the Copper Development Association to look into the in vitro activity and the application of copper in an African context. The experiment was looking at two identical or very similar consulting rooms that took exactly the same patient load and applied copper to the touch surfaces such as the desks, the tops of the cupboards, the trolleys, the window sills, and compared that with the control room where there was wooden surfaces and plastic surfaces or malamine surfaces. The results showed that copper was far superior to either plastic or stainless steel in its antimicrobial activity and copper incorporated alloys did have a good antimicrobial activity. We were extremely pleased with the findings and delighted that we could use copper in the context of African primary healthcare facilities. What we hope to show you is that the sort of bugs and in, that cause infections in hospitals will die off within minutes of being in contact with copper, whereas they may survive for up to weeks or even months on stainless steel. So, Professor Keevil, tell us what they're seeing down the individual microscopes. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take the notorious MRSA bug. We're going to put 10 million of the cells on stainless steel, 10 million of the cells on copper, and what we hope to show you is that they live very happily on the stainless steel, but they die rapidly on the copper. What you're seeing here are the individual bacteria sitting on the stainless steel surface. We've used a special um, dye which shows that they, um, while they're bright green, they're still alive. Right. What we're hoping to show is that they will fade away as they die on the copper surface, which will be contrary to what happens on the stainless steel. Well, we're coming up to four minutes of the experiment now. Let's have a look at the pictures coming from the microscope. And Professor Keeble, tell us what we're seeing. These MRSA bugs on stainless steel, what are we looking at there? Well, what you can see is that we still have the same number of brightly stained bacteria as we did at the start of the experiment at zero time. It looks very similar to the beginning, actually. And the copper? Well, now you can see a major difference. Now we're struggling to see any of the bacteria and the ones we can see have got a very pale green colour showing that they're dying very rapidly. We'll be coming up to nine minutes now. Let's look at the screens linked to those microscopes. And this is stainless steel and Professor Keevil still looking full of MRSA microbes. Yes, they're still surviving very nicely on the stainless steel. When you say very nicely, how long will they stay there for now? Oh, they could be there for days or weeks. Days or weeks. Let's yes. look at copper. Well, I think now we're struggling to see anything on this image, showing that the bacteria have all died off on the copper surface. Some incredibly impressive results there, much quicker than I expected. In fact, there are quite a number of hospitals around the world now who are starting to install copper in their wards to try to deal with this real problem of hospital-acquired infections.